Hey, what's going on Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hut. My name is Chris. I'm back again with another Star Wars The Force Awakens action figure review. We are all very familiar with this character. This is Rey, played by Daisy Ridley. I cannot wait to see her in action. I can't wait to know everything about her character. Um, I'm really excited about it. This movie's right around the corner. I have my tickets. I hope you do too. So, um, yeah, this is Rey, three and three quarters, wave one. Let's get right to the review. So we'll start off with the package. We've got a really cool picture of her on the left hand side here. And like always, we have a description on the back. And some of the other characters in the wave. And of course, the Disney and Hasbro logo. So the overall package is really sweet. Let's get right to the figure. So I actually think they did a really good job on this. I'm very happy with the way that this came out. I think the paint, the detail, everything is really nice. She came with this backpack and her staff. And the backpack was pretty hard to put on. But when it's on, it looks pretty sweet. Really adds to the figure. And uh, the staff is really nice. You can put that over her shoulder. You can probably position it in both hands. Um, I just didn't try it yet. But that would look pretty sweet too. So as you can see, the detail's awesome. Like the paint works great. It really does look like her. These figures of their um, five points of articulation. So obviously the arms just go up and down. Also the legs. And her head is on a ball joint. But you get some good left and right, not so much up and down. There is some movement, but not a whole bunch. Probably because of uh, her hair, some restriction here. But uh, it looks awesome. Really does. I mean, the detail is really nice. Now, I did a review on the Black Series, Ray and BB-8, and the Elite Series by Disney. Um, and she also comes with BB-8. Um, so if you guys haven't checked those out, make sure you check them out. Those figures are really nice. The detail is pretty phenomenal. So honestly, for the these three Ray figures, I think they all look pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. So this is definitely a must-have if you don't already have it. I cannot wait to find out if she, if there's going to be any relation, like if she's Ray Solo or Ray Skywalker, because that will just blow my mind. So the backpack, like I said, it was a little hard to put on, but honestly, when it's on, it looks pretty cool. Very nice paint job. Did a great job on the face. Very happy with it. Her outfit is really cool too. Um, you know, basically in that description, she's just a scavenger on Jakku, so very cool, and it looks like she runs into BB-8, I can't, I just can't wait to just find it all out, you know, and I know I'm speaking for everybody, with all the trailers, the posters, the figures, it's unbelievable, and I think we're like six weeks away from the movie. Alright guys, 
Well, I hope you liked this review. Um, I'm really excited about this figure. I think they did a great job, like I said, a million times over. And um, please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think. And um, you can find me at collectorshut.com. All my information's there, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, T Public. if you want to get a t-shirt and help support the Collector's Hut. That would be cool. And uh, thanks so much, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. I have a lot more awesome stuff to come. <clears throat> And uh, may the force be with you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.